Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans from around the world, welcome to the grandest showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the brilliant entrepreneur and owner of Twitter, the man with a vision that transcends mere boundaries, the one and only Elon, the innovator, Musk. And in the opposite corner, we have the mastermind behind Meta and Facebook, the cunning strategist who knows no limits, the relentless Mark the Disruptor Zuckerberg. It all started when whispers of a treacherous act began to echo through the tech industry. Elon Musk, aware of the growing Meta empire, discovered a shocking truth. Mark Zuckerberg had allegedly stolen the intellectual property of Twitter through a meticulously planned campaign of systematic, willful, and unlawful misappropriation of trade secrets. In a blaze of fury and a relentless pursuit of justice, Elon Musk filed a lawsuit against Mark Zuckerberg, demanding retribution for the perceived betrayal. The courtroom became the battleground for legal titans, where words clashed like swords and arguments struck with the force of thunderbolts. Each side presented their case with unwavering determination, aiming to establish their dominance in this high-stakes conflict. As the trial reached its climax, tensions rose to an unprecedented level. Elon Musk, a man known for his unyielding spirit, demanded an unconventional resolution, an epic showdown within the iconic walls of a Roman Colosseum. And with a nod from the presiding judge, the stage was set for a fight that would leave a mark on history. On the chosen day, the Colosseum trembled with anticipation. Spectators gathered, awaiting the clash of these modern-day titans. Elon Musk, stepping into the arena, radiated an aura of determination, his eyes fixed on the man who stood opposite him. Mark Zuckerberg, his once-trusted peer, now turned adversary. Bruce Buffer, the legendary voice of combat, bellowed, Ladies and gentlemen, let the battle begin! The crowd roared in unison as Elon and Mark circled each other, their every move calculated, their minds racing with strategy. With a swift, lightning-quick motion, Elon unleashed a barrage of arguments, countering Mark's every move. Intellectual blows were exchanged, and verbal jabs landed with precision. Each word carried the weight of their respective empires as the crowd watched in awe, captivated by the spectacle unfolding before them. In the midst of the intense verbal warfare, the atmosphere crackled with anticipation. The tension built, reaching its climax when Elon and Mark finally closed in for the ultimate showdown. Their clash echoed throughout the Colosseum as they engaged in a heated exchange, exchanging verbal blows that resonated with the intensity of gladiatorial combat. With every argument, every accusation, they fought tooth and nail for victory, pushing themselves to the limit. The crowd, entranced by this extraordinary confrontation, rose to their feet, witnessing a battle that would be spoken of for generations to come. As the final bell tolled, both Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg stood bloodied, bruised, and battered. Their battle had reached its conclusion, leaving behind a trail of shattered egos and unfulfilled expectations. But amidst the chaos, the verdict remained uncertain. Only time would reveal the true victor in this clash of giants. Ladies and gentlemen, the climax of this epic showdown takes an unforeseen turn that sends shockwaves through the Colosseum. As the crowd's laughter reverberates, it becomes apparent that both Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg's empires have crumbled, weighed down by their own missteps and the relentless pursuit of dominance. Amidst the jeers and taunts, a familiar figure emerges from the shadows, none other than Tom Anderson, the iconic face of MySpace, everyone's first friend. The crowd's laughter fades, replaced by a curious silence as they wonder what this nostalgic figure has in store. Tom, with a mischievous grin, steps into the spotlight, radiating a newfound confidence. He addresses the audience with a twinkle in his eye. My dear friends, it appears that the winds of change are upon us once again. While these once mighty giants have faltered, let us not forget the roots from which we all sprang— the joy of customization, creative expression, and genuine connections. The crowd's skepticism gives way to a flicker of intrigue as they recall the vibrant personal touch that MySpace once offered. Memories of customizable profiles and music-filled pages fill their minds, reminding them of a time when social media felt more like a personal haven than a corporate battleground. With a sweeping gesture, Tom unveils a new vision. 
A revitalized MySpace, reborn to fill the void left by the fallen giants. Learning from the mistakes of the past, he promises a platform that cherishes individuality, promotes authentic interaction, and places the user experience above all else. As Elon and Mark look on, their once powerful companies now reduced to relics of a bygone era, they come to a humbling realization. The world has hungered for something different, a return to the warmth and personal touch that MySpace once embodied. United in their shared failure, Elon and Mark approach Tom, recognizing the resurgence of a force they once dismissed. They offer their support, pledging their expertise and resources to assist in MySpace's revival. In a surprising twist, they become integral members of the team, humbled by the opportunity to learn and rebuild. And so, the stage is set for a remarkable comeback, as MySpace, under the collective guidance of Tom, Elon, and Mark, rises from the ashes, captivating a new generation hungry for authenticity and connection. Through their collaborative efforts, they reinvent social media, creating a platform that embraces the past while embracing the future, inspiring a resurgence of personal expression and rekindling the genuine joy of online interaction. As the crowd watches this unexpected turn of events, their laughter transforms into a cautious optimism. They eagerly anticipate the resurrection of MySpace, eagerly awaiting the chance to rediscover a digital realm that values individuality and fosters meaningful relationships. In this tale of downfall and redemption, the fallen giants humbly yield their thrones to the reimagined MySpace, proving that even in the face of failure, the spirit of innovation and reinvention can pave the way for a triumphant return.